Hey fellow tennis nerds, racket testing doesn't stop here, but I still play some tennis in between as well. I just put together a few clips from relatively recent play that has not made it into my review videos. This one here is from when I lost to Malta's best tennis player, a guy I practice with sometimes. His name is Matthew Ashak. Uh, this was in the second round of the Malta Open. I got one win uh, in the first round, uh, but it was obvious in this match against the best player that I need to play more tournaments because my arm was heavy, you know, felt like cement and I was nervous for nothing. Um, I wasn't serving well, I wasn't playing well at all. Uh, so I need to get into more tournaments to um, up my level a bit. Uh, Matthew obviously won the Molto Open for the 13th or 14th year in a row, so I had no chance there, but at least to perform better when you play matches. Good news is that my knee is back to normal, so I hope I can move better and uh, I aim to play a bit more competitive tennis next year. Uh, maybe play a few of those ITF seniors tour events. I think that's nice that they, they run them, they're quite regular uh, and they, there are a few in Spain that I, I think I could join. So that would be fun. Uh, on the side of playing uh, more competitive tennis, I have been fooling around with a few other tennis rackets that is not for review. One of them is the Head Flex Point Radical MPs that I'm using instead of my Liquid Metal Radical Tours. Uh, these offer a better room for customization and play somewhat softer, uh, in my opinion, than the liquid metals. Uh, so I'm really enjoying them so far. I haven't added lots of lead tape, but some. Um, they're quite evenly balanced um, when it comes to uh, the weight. So uh, I, it really works for me to have a bit of a lower weight to get more whip on my shots. Um, so I'm enjoying this. It's, it's, they're nice sticks as well feels a bit plusher than the, the liquid metals, so that's an interesting test for me. We'll see if it's something I would uh, want to switch from the liquid metal to, or if that's just something I'm gonna uh, put in my bag or, or sell down the line. I've also recently been on a business trip in Amsterdam, uh, where, which, where I go sometimes. I had the fortune to meet up with a fellow tennis nerd who I've been trading rackets with in the past. His name is Martin, really nice guy, plays a nice game of tennis. It's also always nice to be able to visit different tennis clubs when you're traveling and actually have a, a te proper tennis session instead of just drinking beers or whatever you do when you're on business trips. The club was called the Tennis Park Slotterplatz and it's not far from the Amsterdam center. Uh, so I really enjoyed that. We had a really good session. I used the Strix and Dunlop CX200 Tour which I really like and I still play. Um, and Martin played with the Prince Phantom 93P that he strung up with a really thin gauge of vocal cyclone. I still enjoy the Strix and Dunlop a lot. Consider switching to it. Uh, we'll see what, ha what happens down the line. It plays really close to what I'm used to and offers a really nice response on all shots. I can't really find somewhere to fault it yet. So we'll see um, if it's a honeymoon period uh, still or if it's just a very good stick for my game. Next review will be of the Bubble Up Pure Arrow. Um, I've played it a few times. It is definitely a good update, I think, um, but it's a completely different stick altogether from the Strix and Dunlop, and it's not something that I would switch to, uh, but if you're into power and spin rackets, this is definitely a positive update from the previous version. Uh, it plays more similar to the Aero, Pure Dri Aero Pro Drive um, of 2013-2015, which I thought was the best version. Talking about meeting fellow tennis nerds, um, there was a guy, uh, Rob, contacted me through YouTube and asked me if I wanted to hit while he was in Malta for a conference. So we met up, uh, we had some bad luck with the stormy weather, but still had a good uh, tennis session. And afterwards we had a nice dinner with our wives too. So uh, this is a, Rob is a really classy guy with a successful career. Uh, really nice connecting uh, with people over tennis and through Tennis Nerd. That's something I, I appreciate a lot. We played around with a few different rackets. The Solinco Shadow 305, Yonex V-Core 95, Donna Pro 1 97 Hexacore. All of these have been reviewed on the, on the website. Uh, and in the end I even brought out the Bubble Out Soft Drive strung with the Grapple Snake Cube strings. Cube is, as I've said before, a completely square string. Uh, it's a bit tricky to string, but it performed really nice in the soft drive. Uh, a very enjoyable string, had really soft touch to it, despite all the spin I got from the shape. 
Uh, probably doesn't last very long, but thumbs up for the, this grapple snake string. So all in all, uh, lots of racket reviewing lately. Uh, it's not the best for my own tennis improvement, uh, but it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy doing this for Tennis Nerd and I enjoy connecting with you guys out there in the tennis world. Uh, there will be more reviews to come before we close 2018 and look forward to next year. Racket manufacturers seem to have picked up the pace, so expect a lot of new content on Tennis Nerd next year. As always, I, thanks a lot for following Tennis Nerd. I really appreciate this as this is a work of passion and I do it uh, from my own enjoyment and to connect with other tennis people. Uh, I hope to see you online soon, if not on an actual tennis court, uh, which is usually the best. Last but not least, don't forget to check out Tennis Nerd on Instagram, YouTube or Facebook or just TennisNerd.net. Have a nice day guys, don't forget to play some tennis.